Hello, doers! My name is Jose Ignacio, and welcome back. Now here at Stealthywood, we often purchase bulk quantities of goods to sell in different units of measure to our customers. And what does that mean, you may ask? Well, here's an example. We buy fabric in bulk, but we sell it to customers in smaller units. In other words, we buy one unit of measure, like meters, and we sell in another, like centimeters. Performing a manual conversion each time we receive or sell products is incredibly time-consuming and kind of old school. Odoo's Units of Measure feature automates these conversions for us instead. Now that way we can purchase, stock, and sell our products with accuracy, ease, and more speed than ever before. Now when we purchase one roll of fabric consisting of 250 meters of material, and our preferred measurement to use inside of our warehouse, as I said, is one meter, Odoo will automatically perform the conversion for us when we receive the products, so that we don't have to do it manually. This way, our stock is organized based on the unit of measure we sell it. It makes sense, right? Alrighty, enough chit chat, let's get right into it. Okay, so we'll start things off on the inventory dashboard over here. Now from here, let's go over to configuration and settings. Alright, scroll down over here to products. Make sure that little checkbox next to units of measure is checked off. Go ahead and save and we're ready to move on. Moving on, let's actually click on that units of measure internal link because I'd like to take you to a very special list. Now here, we basically see the settings and all of the different categories of measurements that we have set up like volume, weight, length, and even more. Now in our example, I'll work with a length unit of their measure, where the reference unit is actually a meter. A category named length and distance already exists, so I don't actually need to make everything up from scratch. But if I ever needed to make stuff from scratch, all I actually have to do is hit new up here. Now, as you saw before, these are all different unit of measure categories, and I'd like to talk about that first because the category is essential for unit conversion, since you will only be able to convert products from one unit of measure to another if both of those units belong to the same category. For instance, we could do kilograms to pounds, but we can't do kilograms to days, so be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, now let's click into the length and distance unit of measure category, and we're brought to this page where it shows me all of the different units of measure within the category. We also get to see their types, which in our case will tell us if it's smaller or larger than the reference unit of measure over here in the category. You can even see the ratio to that reference over here, as well as whether or not it is rounded to a very fine precision. And there's a reason I skipped the last part, and that is the active part right here. Now, I wanted to mention that last because if it's checked, it means this unit of measure is currently available for me to use. Like I mentioned earlier, one of our vendors only sells fabric rolls in 250 meters. So in order to purchase goods from this vendor, I need to create a basically a unit of measure for that. That way Odoo can convert it to the unit of measure that we sell it in. As you can see, the reference unit of measure in bold is, in our case, one meter. So let's click on, in our case, add a line. We're gonna name this one roll 250 meters, because I like to keep it very accurate. And then we're gonna basically pick bigger than the reference unit of measure because it is, because our ratio over here is now gonna be 250. All right, now we click out of there and that's all. We're done, it's created. Now, I can actually go ahead and add a product. So we're gonna add that fabric roll as a product so that I could purchase it from a vendor. In order to do that, we're gonna go up here to products, products, and we're gonna select new. Let's make that quick fabric. And we're gonna favorite this just cause we like it a lot. All right, we're basically done, but we're not because once that we do that and we've given it a name, we actually have to select the unit of measure. It's not units. In our case, it is going to be meter. And then for our purchase, because remember, we purchase it in a different amount. We're going to type in the word roll because we just made it. Boom. Now we're done. Now it's important to note that you will always be able to edit the purchase unit of measure, but it must stay in the same category as the unit of measure you use. In our example, both are under length and distance. Now, roll 250 meters is also the unit of measure that will be suggested by default when we create a purchase order. However, the main unit of measure, which is over here, is what we use internally to measure our stock, and it will not be changeable after we perform any stock operations for this product for the first time. So be sure to keep that in mind. Now that we're done, I also need a cost in here. And what should we, oh, Little doopsie, we went up the sales price. We need the cost. In our case, it's gonna be 80 cents. And as you notice, since we selected the meters unit of measure, it tells us per meter over there. And that's pretty awesome. And our sales price is still gonna be a dollar, so we can make some profit. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the purchase tab and we gotta have a vendor. I love Azure Interior because they always sell us stuff. 
And their price is $200. Azure Interior, please lower your prices. Inflation is out of hand. Now, this means when we buy fabric from Azure Interior, we purchase it in multiples of 250 meters at a cost of $200 per unit. Okay, I know that was a lot of information, but trust me, it's all going to come into play. So I'm going to make a purchase for fabric from Azure Interior and see how it all works out. So we're actually going to go inside of our purchase application and select new Azure Interior right there. And for our product, again, that fabric, and there's something I really want to show you. And look at that, oh doers. Our units of measure was updated immediately. Roll 250M pops up by default with a unit price over here of $200. It's exactly what I wanted to see, so let's confirm this. Now there's a few options that we have. Let's pretend Azure Interior's delivery service is the fastest ever, beating Bezos, beating everyone, and my fabric arrived immediately. In that case, we can receive the shipment with either the Receive Products button over here or the Receipt Smart button up at the top. And we're going to go into this one because I want to show you something. On the receipt, I'll see on the Operations tab over here, the demand quantity has been updated to 250. And that's because according to the unit of measure ratio we established earlier, Odo has automatically converted the quantity to 250 meters even though we only ordered and bought one unit of fabric from the vendor. And that's pretty nifty, eh? Now at this stage, I can't change the units of measure. You'll notice when I click here, we can change our packaging to make it fancier, but that's it. We can't really do anything else. It's grayed out. All right. Now when I validate this shipment and mark all as done, look at that. You can see that the done quantity over here is 250 instead of one roll. Now if I go back to the fabric product by clicking on products and products into fabric, you can already start to see where I'm going with this. I can also see that the on-hand quantity is 250 meters right there. And that's converted correctly as well. Now I'm actually going to click on the on-hand smart button and boom, would you look at that, Odoers. There are 250 meters of fabric in stock. And I have one last thing to show you, Odoers. Alrighty, we finally got our fabric in stock, so it's time to sell some to our trusty customers. Now to do that, I'm going to navigate again over here to the sales app for this last part. I'm going to make a new quotation over here, oh, doers. All right, I'm going to add the customer, and I've been using them a bit. We're going to use that little addict over there. Perfect. Now we're going to add the fabric as the product. And that's because I want to show you something. Now, as we've seen, Odoo is smart, and it's easy to sell in all kinds of different units of measure. So let's say that this customer would like to buy five meters of our fabric. We're actually going to set this to five. And this is the important part. Now we're going to confirm this. So usually the recommended unit of measure for your product is the smallest configuration sold in order to avoid rounding and quantities with decimals as well. We're selling in meters here, but smaller and larger units of measure can also be done. Okay, now let's deliver my product. So we're going to click on that delivery smart button and I'm going to validate the quantities. And I'm going to mark them all as done. And we can see that we delivered five meters of the product right there from the done column. Great. Everything checks out so far. To see what our inventory report looks like, let's head on over to the inventory app over here, clicking into inventory, and you guessed it, we're going to click on the reporting menu and then stock. Now, here's where the magic finally happens. This checks out too. Here we see Stealthy Wood has sold 5 meters of fabric since there are now 245 meters left in stock on hand, oh doers. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that's all for this video. As you just saw, Odoo can convert from a bulk unit of measure to a smaller unit of measure automatically, which saves a ton of time.